What it do, family? It's your girl, 2D2. I am back with another video. Shout out to the squad, s and Drip Set. What it do? I appreciate you guys for coming back and tuning in. You know the vibes. I need for you to like, comment, share, subscribe, watch those ads, and click that bell. Uh, so you know each and every time I drop a vid, you dig me. My name is Tamika, a.k.a. Toot. Welcome to my reaction channel. I appreciate everybody for tapping in with Toot. Now look, we're about to get into this Toya Johnson. Now you know I love her. I don't care what none of y'all say in the comments. And we gonna get into this Q&A. So without further ado, we finna hop right into it. Let's get it. You know what I mean? Happy Monday once again to everybody. I hope everybody is good. Boy, they almost brought out the thought in me. So you sent me a lot, a lot of questions, a lot of questions, and I'm going to answer a few. And to let you know that I'm really reading off your questions, some I might pass on, but you'll know I got it. And some... Oh, it, was, it wasn't just me? The intro to bring out the thought in y'all? Girl, I forgot I was on this camera. I, it brought out the thought in me. I'll answer, okay? So y'all ready to get into this q and I know I've been kind of... MIA on YouTube. But I keep telling y'all that I'm gonna get a little bit more consistent. I'm gonna keep my word. It's just been hard, y'all, because life gets a life in, and you know, your girl be just moving. But I promise I'm not gonna neglect y'all or keep y'all waiting on a video. And I would like to know what type of content you wanna see from me. So um, so leave that below as well. I just like to hear her talk. She don't really got to say nothing. I mean, really got to do nothing on video. It's just her voice is fire. If I had that type of voice, my wife would know what to do with me. You know what I mean? For real. Well, but I'm going to get into this Q&A because y'all was getting juicy, baby. Y'all was and asking all kind of questions. I'm like, ooh, they trying to get me business. But I asked y'all to ask me, so I ain't tripping. So I'm going to either answer or I'll say I pass on that. All right? So let's go. Okay. The first question is, are you planning on having more kids? The answer to that is, okay, I'm gonna be honest. Sometimes I want more kids and sometimes I don't. Um, <clears throat> today, I don't. But a couple of days ago, maybe a couple of weeks ago, I did. I kind of go up and down as I watch brain get older. You know, sometimes I'll be like, oh, my baby getting older. She's not my baby anymore. Like, I'm so used to, like, cuddling with her and all of that fun stuff. Um, but I kind of go in and out, and my husband the same way. Like, I guess he wanted one so bad at first, and I was, like, totally, like, I'm not having no more kids. And now he's at the point where, like, shit, if it had, you know, if we have one, we have one. But, I mean, I would love to experience having a boy, like being a boy mom. Red, you going to have a kid. Cause you married to Toy, it's 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 inevitable unless y'all got some some top tier birth control. Because I don't know, I don't understand how he go from the kitchen to the living room when Toy is around. That's a beautiful woman, dog. You dig? So I I just know for a fact that he's gonna probably have one more. <laughs> oh God! Like I would love to have that experience. So I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna have no more kids. I'm kind of gonna put it in God's hand. And if it happens, it happens. And um, but am I planning to have a kid right now? The answer is no. Okay. But I mean, you never know what the future holds. Uh, so maybe. <laughs> Let's see. The next question is: Somebody take Z Murder out of the chat expeditiously. <laughs> Lucci versus Armand, what are good and bad qualities that you see in both men? Wow. Y'all went there? Oh, y'all went there, there. Okay, I just want you to know I got your question, but I'm gonna decline to answer that. But just so you know, I'm really reading what you sent. I'm gonna decline to answer that, okay? Next one. Uh, let's see. Um. Do you really like Armand or is it for show? I think Armand is a really, really good, good guy. I like whoever my daughter likes and whoever treats her right. As a mother, I want her to be happy. 
I want, I mean, what mother don't want their daughter happy? So if you treat my daughter right, you treat her like the queen that she is, I love you. I like you. You know, that's all this is about is my child's happiness. And I would like to see the both of them happy because that's what they deserve. So I do like Armand. He's really sweet. And um, he's a good person. Yes. So that. That is so lit. But see, the thing about it is I don't want this Q&A to be filled of questions about our mind and Regine. I want to know Toya. You feel me? That's the only thing that I just hate with supporters sometimes. It's just like, can we stick to the script? That answers that. Um, <clears throat> what advice would you give a yes, person this type of just stuff. embarking on the entrepreneur journey? Yes. I will say this. First off, entrepreneurship is not easy. Although everybody is trying to leap into that world, it's not easy. But I would say um, if you do decide to be an entrepreneur, understand that there are pros and cons, just like there are pros and cons to anything in life. You have your good days, you have your bad days. And when you are an entrepreneur, no matter what, you still have to be an entrepreneur. You know, you used to having a nine to five, it's off at five. When you're an entrepreneur, there's never off. There's you never have days off. where you make $500, you have days where you make $0. And that is on period. There's some days I can eat, eat Raymond, you know, at the place I go get mine from. And then there's days like the day where I'm eating the regular Raymond. Because entrepreneurship is not easy. And for anybody who want to tell you that it is when you're trying to start, they're lying. Get ready to not sleep at all. You have days you make $5,000, you have days where you make $500. So it, either way it goes, you still have to pay, you know, pay people, pay for merchandise, pay, you know, if you have an a, a, um, a actual location, you got to pay your rent or pay your whatever, stuff still got to be paid regardless of if you make any money. And you have to find a way to market that business. You have to understand that, um, you know, you have to bring the people into you. Like, you need a team, period. I've been trying to really get my brand to blossom and it's impossible for us to do it by ourselves. You know what I'm saying? But then in building a team, you really have to have some top-notch people in your corner. I got two people so far. I need a team of at least five. You feel me? But this is so important what she's saying. These are the kind of questions I need. Like It's like, why should I support this business? You know, so you have to always find a way to stand out because I'm sure it's a million it's hard. people out there doing the same thing. But what's making people mess with them is the way they market their stuff and how good their product is. So you have to just find your niche and understand that when becoming an entrepreneur, you will have good days, bad days. And no matter what, you still an entrepreneur and you still are working for yourself. So you have to give that extra push no matter what. And as long as you're okay with that, then, I mean, my advice, go for it. Because you know why? Nothing beats failure but a try. So give it what you got and see what comes out of it. And to the person that asked that question, if you're planning to step into that field, I wish you nothing but success. And I hope that, you know, everything works out for you. Boy, that is so lit. See, this is what I'm saying. Like, you got to have yourself surrounded by people that, that feel like winning is more than just them. You know what I mean? Like, for real, like, winning sometimes is putting certain people in positions to, block, to shine a light. Just so yours can shine just as well. You know what I mean? And I love videos like this. Toya is gorgeous, bro. It is no way in the world, man. This girl, she looks so young, man. All right, so the next question is, why why your brother didn't go to your wedding? Okay, my brother, as you know, um, <clears throat> two of my brothers were locked up. They're both, where one is in the halfway house, he'll be completely out of the halfway house in June, so he's not allowed to travel. The other is still on paper, so he's still not allowed to travel. As you know, my wedding took place in Cabo, Mexico, and if you are on probation or anything like that, there's, there's terms that they set for you. Like, you can't leave the states, you can't, you know, some of your probation off. Some of y'all just ask the dumbest things in the world. Now, everybody who's been following them knowing that her two brothers is on papers. Do you really think that if somebody's on papers, they're going to let them go to another goddamn country where they could flee? I just need some of you people to just start using your thinking caps when you send certain questions in. Like, for real.
officers or uh, whatever might not be cool with you leaving the states because they look at it like you can flee or you can run away or whatever and you know when you're on probation you're still under some type of supervision but you're free so in that case he is not totally off of paper so his probation or probation officer didn't allow for him to come to Mexico, although that kind of hurt me because I would have loved to have him there with us and even be a part of the wedding. But unfortunately, he couldn't be. He it got me so aggravated right now because you wasting a good seven minutes asking stupid questions. First of all, her brother ain't being in her wedding. Got nothing to do with y'all folks. You did what I'm saying? Like, who even thought about that? What I'm trying to understand is how her skin is going. Why ain't nobody asking what the hell she doing in the morning to, to not age? Now, that's the type of stuff that I want to hear. Are y'all talking, y'all asking this foolishness. He couldn't come, he couldn't travel, but at the end of the day, I wasn't going to move my location of my wedding because he couldn't be there because it wasn't about my brother being there. It was about me and my husband finding a location that the two of us wanted to have our wedding at. And, you know, we just hate that he couldn't be a part of it, but we see him all the time. We hang out, he came when we got back. I'm sorry, y'all. Y'all know the bipolar come out of me in a heartbeat because I, I want to know stuff, questions that's going to mean something to me. Like how she sitting in that chair there and her ass is up there looking like a fist. I want my ass to fist. You know what I'm saying? I want my wife to look back, walk past me and want to grab a chunk of my ass. I want my ass to look like hers. Y'all ain't asking the important questions. You know what I'm saying? That That's just all I'm trying to say. Dog. He came, he kicked it, we love him, he know, I mean, I know he loved me, I love him, and that's just that. You know, as you get grown, you start to look at things different. You know, every, you can't make everybody happy, everybody won't be able to be a part of everything, and you just have to be okay with that. Next question is, oh! wait, hold on, I thought I lost my questions. Okay. Somebody asked, when is the next Pretty Girls Jump, the championship calling out name? Um, Pretty Girls Jump, we're actually going to do one this year during Essence Festival, where we're going to um, have different women a part of it, and we're going to make it like a really big thing. And I'm also planning to do one in October, right around my 40th birthday here in Atlanta. So, you know, I love to jump. Pretty Girls Jump is something that I started to get the young kids to put down their phones and pick up a rope, getting active. And that's what the whole Wait No More movement is about. So you will be hearing about Pretty Girls Jump soon. I'll be sharing that information. Oh, that's lit. Really, really, really soon. Okay. <clears throat> so the next question is, how proud of you are your, of your oldest daughter? Listen, y'all, I cannot even express how proud of Regine, like how, how proud I am of Regine. She's come a long way. She's been through a lot in her 24 years of living. And I'm just happy to see her happy and at a good place where, you know, she's doing the things she want to do career wise. She's, you know, she's found love, somebody that treats her well. Um, she's, you know, a good sister, a good friend. Like she's, you know, she had to go through the finding herself stage. And what I love the most guys, and this might be weird and sound weird, but my daughter uh, is learning to be okay with being by herself. So that means that you're learning yourself, you finding yourself. Because at one point she went through a phase where she has to be around everybody. But now I'm seeing that she's okay with being with being alone. And that, that means a lot. And that I mean that means a lot and it shows growth. So I'm extremely proud of her, y'all. So proud of her. See, we talk about these things on Sister Sunday and see the importance of having a mother just celebrate you does so much for a child's spirit. You know what I mean? When my mom or dad would tell me, man, I'm so proud of you, it would do things to me that I couldn't even explain. You know what I mean? But this is beautiful moments that we are witnesses. And I know that some people get caught up in the celebrity of it. Like, oh, that's Toya, that's Regine. But let's, let's go, let's look at the womanhood of it. Oh, that's lit, bro. Okay, next question. How is married life and do you want more babies? Okay, I answered the baby part. Marriage life is great. Just like everybody, you know, everybody has ups and downs. You know, it's no fairy tale, perfect world. We don't live in that world. But aside from that, I found my person. 
I found I found the person that makes me happy, that treats me right, somebody I can build with, somebody I can grow with, somebody that gets me, understands me, and somebody that knows my love language. And that is very, very important in a world, you know, where nothing is perfect. So long as you are happy and you're okay with your person, the rest is history. So you just have to learn to live with each other, make it work, and communicate. Communication is like a huge part of it in a successful relationship. And we learn how to communicate and we learn how to understand each other and the rest is history. It's the Russians. It be weird sometimes because I can see Regine popping out of her. <laughs> it be so weird, bro. Like they gotta do a video to where, and I said it here first, and I want 7%, I don't care who you are. But they need to do a vlog to where it's like a, like a skit to where like, they start off being Regina and Armand, and then it'd be like Regina and Armand like 20 years later, and then it'd be like Red and Toya, because I will pee on a video like that. Do you understand me? Can y'all, if y'all are Armand fans, tell them to do that to make my day? I need them to do a skit video to where it's like, you know how they did the Martin one, to where they wake up and they Armand and Regina, and then you get the, the fast forward 15 years later, and it'd be Toya and Red. Please do it for me. I need y'all to help me with this. This is serious now, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> if you wasn't married, would you give Nate dad another chance? I'm happily married. So to answer your question, um, I mean, if I wasn't married, I'm married. So the answer is no. <laughs> oh, y'all get spicy. No, they getting ignorant. Let's call it what it is. I said you can't. They getting ignorant. She married. What is if you was not married? Who even put that out there in the universe? They had to be 13. Okay, let's see what else y'all got in here. Um, Let's see. Come on now. Disturbing me. What is one thing you love about yourself and one thing you love about Red? Okay. What is one thing I love about myself and what is one thing I love about Red? One thing I love about myself is how I'm not afraid to be vulnerable. You know, I have my moments where, you know, I, I'm, I'm okay to say I'm not okay. I might not publicly get on the gram and be like, today I'm just not okay. But like, I call my family and we'll have discussions and I'll be like, today is just not a good day. I'm not feeling, I'm not afraid to be vulnerable. And like, when I was younger, I, I was afraid to express that side. But as I got older, I realized that it's okay to not be okay. And you have to be comfortable with that. And you have to live with that and understand that every day is not going to be a good day for you. But that don't mean give up. That means take that fuel and keep, you know, use that. Get well and keep going. You know, just never stop. Like, and understand that you're not going to have 365 good days a year. There's going to be some bad days and some rough days and some tough days. And some days you feel like, you know, I just want to give up. I'm just, I just, you know, and you have to just keep going. So what I love about myself is I have finally reached a point in my life where I am embracing every part of me. Shout out to whoever edited this video. Because I feel like I'm in a summit right now. I mean, the lightning is amazing. The edits is just top tier. I mean, like, you could just tell. See, I love it when people care about the product they put out. I just do. That's just me personally. The good, the bad, the ugly. And it's I'm so good. understanding that it's okay to not be okay. Right. And what I love about Red is I love that Red is a man. You know, and he's he's a friend. He's a, a amazing partner, and he's somebody that you can talk to with no judgment, no matter who you are. You know what I'm saying? So, and that's rare to have people that can hear you out, not judge you, and give you honest feedback. So, I love that he is so into helping people, even in, with the whole weight and more movement. Like he care about the people and he genuinely want to see them do better and lose this weight and live a healthier lifestyle. And it's genuine. It's not just to make money. So that's something I absolutely love about him. All right. Who felt like when she was just talking about Red, it was Regine talking about Armand? 
And I don't want to keep reflecting on her daughter's relationship, but it's one of the things that we also discussed in Sister Sunday, the learned behavior. When 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 Regine is seeing how Red is loving, you know what I'm saying, her mama, she's going to also want something that's going to emulate that. And that's why I be saying, like, the company we keep is so important. Um, because, like, if we bring these people in our houses that don't supposed to be there, now you got a daughter that's looking at what they think they supposed to have because mama had it. So just hearing her describe Red is really dope because those are some of the qualities that uh, Regine described about our mind. So when it comes down to learned behavior in that sense, that's a big W. You feel me? Let's see what else we got here. Um, How does it feel to overcome divorce and be married? Hmm... I'll share that in my book. <laughs> it's so many questions, y'all, but we have to wrap this thing up. I'm going to take one more question. And that last question is, did anything change in your relationship with Red after getting married? I would say, let me see. Um, if, if Yeah. I mean, of course, like now he'll probably just leave stuff because before he knew I was kind of like, you know, I'm real OCD. So he'll just leave stuff on the floor. And I'm like, you don't have no goddamn maids. You know what I'm saying? But men do that. It's like, why? Like, pick up your stuff. Like, I don't mind cleaning up behind you. But just don't just leave your socks when you get up. You get your socks, your towel, or whatever you had. Just leave it there on the floor. Because then it's like, just, 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 you know, your wife like neat stuff. So just pick that up and go, I'm gonna clean everything else up. I'm gonna wash the dishes, I'm gonna clean the room, I'm gonna make the bed, I'm gonna make sure everything is nice and neat and together. But don't just leave your socks, your dirty socks on the floor. Don't just leave your. Man, Ray is lucky as hell. So you mean to tell me you get you a fine woman that got her own going on and she cleans? Big W. You did what I said, Red. Look, you didn't hit the jackpot, homie. You better pick your drawers up, Red. You better pick your drawers up. Your towels on the floor. Don't leave your t-shirt on. Pick it up and put it in the place where it goes. But I love them. You gotta love them. You know, that's just, you know, it's kind of like, that's just, I guess it's just a part of like, it's like, you know it's real. You know it's a real thing. <laughs> you know it's a real thing. But I wouldn't change a thing. I wouldn't trade a thing, you know. It's, it is what it is. But that's just men, I guess. They just think they could just leave their shit anyway. No, it ain't just men, Toy. I'm going to tell you right now. My drawers is on the bathroom floor right now. It is. Yeah, it ain't going to be just not a gender thing, you know. Yeah, sad to say, but they are. They right there on the floor right now. All right, y'all, this was so fun. Y'all had some really, really good questions, and I hope my answers was able to help you. It was a lot more that I wanted to answer, but I don't want to make this video too long and drawn out. I'm going to definitely do a part two, so if you have any more questions, be free to leave them on my Instagram page or comment them below. And make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Get my subscribers up so, you know, I keep hitting y'all with some dope content. Peace. This was a very good video. The edit was amazing. I want to know how y'all feel in the comments. Drop it down below. Uh, but yes, we definitely need a part two. I felt like it was, It felt like it could have been longer. I be want to know because these are the times, the type of things that I be really want to know. But look, y'all, we finna get into the next one. Y'all stay tuned.